Hi. Hi. I want to discuss today the possibility of aerating your uh, watercress, your little watercress pump uh, um, pond that you've got in your bathtub or in a, a big uh, bowl on your veranda, whatever. I want to talk about the possibility of using a solar-powered aerator pump for watercress. Now, these solar-powered aerator pumps, you can get them for aquariums or for um, outdoor fountains or whatever, but we want to use it for our, our watercress, don't we? We're growing watercress in a bathtub or in a big basin. Now, there are cheap ones available on eBay from China and Hong Kong. They're about $40. They've got a solar electric cell and uh, or whatever it's called. Is it voltaic cell? Whatever. They've got a solar cell and um, a pump. The problem is you've got to know what you're asking for if you're buying on eBay. There seem to be two types of solar-powered water pumps available. There's the uh, fountain pump that just circulates the water. That's not sufficient for watercress. It's not sufficient. You don't want a solar... Well, you could have a solar-powered fountain pump that's going to stir the water around, but it's not going to aerate the water sufficiently. It might put a little bit of air in the water if it's... Uh, tossing water over some stones or something, but it's not putting enough air in. So a solar, there are two types of uh, solar-powered pumps available. The solar-powered fountain pump, which only circulates the water, and it doesn't ha give enough sufficient oxygen into the water. It's fun to use, however, you might like to play around with them. You want a solar-powered water aerator pump. You want a solar-powered aerator pump that's going to aerate the water for you. It oxygenates the water with an air stone. We've done that in our other videos that I've made on uh, uh, oxygenating the water for watercress. You've got to have an air stone like in an aquarium that makes lots of bubbles. And that is going to work um, because stagnant water isn't any good for watercress. It's just no good. The watercress plants, the roots and stems will rot in stagnant water. They will. They'll rot. You can change the water every day. I've done that, you know, you know, but it's so tedious and even then it's insufficient. The plants are miserable. They're miserable. They're going to be miserable watercress. They're going to rot. The stems are going to rot and the roots are going to rot. Now, the thing is, uh, if you've got a solar powered uh, oxygenator, it's not going to be working at night time, but it, you know, a few hours, so some hours off probably wouldn't hurt the, uh, wouldn't make, the, wouldn't be long enough for the water to become stagnant as long as the solar power pump was working in the daytime, provided that it wasn't uh, too cloudy or overcast. I haven't got one yet, I haven't tried it, but I'm going to. So it won't be working at night time, but you could turn on your uh, electric powered pump during the night if you wanted to, you know. That's a choice. You could alternate between mains and solar. That's a choice. I reckon you could probably just, use, if it were a good little pump, you could probably just use it during the day. And, uh, and you know, if it turned itself on every day, the uh, water wouldn't be st would only be still for the night. So it wouldn't actually be stagnant water, would it? Now you could keep your solar-powered uh, little pump on the veranda, or you could have it on a windowsill indoors, provided there's enough sunlight. And, um, yeah, so what are the needs for watercress? They need sufficient light. So if they're going to be indoors on a, or on a veranda, you're going to have to have sufficient light. You're going to have to have alkalinity, like in spring water, as we've said in our other videos. And you're going to have aeration. You've got to definitely have aerated water. Watercress aren't happy without aeration. So use an aquarium pump with an air stone and... Uh, well, if we have a solar-powered pump, it's not just a novelty and worth trying for fun anyway, but, you know, it's, um, it's going to be something towards self-sufficiency, isn't it? It's going to be towards self-sufficiency. You'll be growing your own watercress and you'll have your own power system. Now, how many hours of use to get your money back? I don't know. How, many, how, how long before the little solar electric, uh, solar-powered water aerator pump how many hours of use before it pays for itself? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm going to have a go. There's some cheap ones available on eBay. There's some for about $40 Australian. 
should be lots of fun anyway. I'm just looking at my mind map here. I think I've discussed most points. Remember, watercress has more vitamin C than oranges, more calcium than milk, and more iron than spinach. So it's a worthwhile little plant to grow. And you can grow it, you know, in a high-rise tower or anything. You can grow it just about anywhere. And, and uh, you know, you can be self-sufficient. Grow it in the bathtub. Grow it in the toilet base. Grow it in a toilet, yes, if you've got a toilet. Uh, in a nice light bathroom, put an air pump into it, put some uh, 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 spring water into it, and uh, put your watercress in, and plenty of light, it should do well. So, solar powered water aerator pumps are available on eBay, and they should uh, allow you to be self sufficient and use the sun to power your watercress pump. That's a very good idea for beautiful aerated water for watercress. It really doesn't like stagnant water. It's very miserable. The roots will rot and the stems will rot and it'll be very unpleasant and it's, uh, it'll make you think that growing watercress isn't a good idea. But watercress grows beautifully if the water is aerated and bubbly. See ya!